story on how you can't be listening to everybody's advice in jail. You know what I mean? Sometimes you got to think like a free man and not like a prisoner. You understand what I'm saying? So one time I was in a dorm. Like I said, I'm one of the youngest dudes in the dorm. The youngest dude in the jail at the time. You understand what I'm saying? So in my house, there's this old ass man. He an old dude, like 60 something years old, Spanish dude. You feel what I'm saying? We cool in the dorm. I speak to him, some poppy, whatever, whatever. You know what I mean? He don't be looking for no trouble, no problems, nothing, because he's an old ass man. You feel me? But he is suffering from dementia and, you know, some type of mental ailment. You feel what I'm saying? So, one day I get up four in the morning to go to the bathroom. I wake up, I had to piss. I'm like, let me go to the bathroom. I'm half asleep. Literally, it's like four in the morning, maybe five. You understand what I'm saying? I'm walking, I'm like this, walking to the bathroom. I look up, it's pitch dark, all the lights is out. You understand what I'm saying? Bathroom lights out, everything. I wake up, I see this old man standing there with the with his face mad red, and he like, ah, ah. The dude just swings and snuffs me. The dude just swings and snuffs me. Bing, like I said. It's five in the morning, I just woke up. I'm like, what the fuck? I look up, it's this nigga like, ah, looking like a crazy person. So, the police was right there when the shit happened. The police like this, hey, 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 hey. He jumps up, he grabs the dude. So he was like, yo, he assaulted you? I was like, yo, I don't know what the fuck happened. I just woke up. You understand what I'm saying? So they snatched the nigga up, whatever, take the nigga to, they snatched the nigga up and um, packed the nigga up. Because once you have a fight with somebody in the dorm, they get you out of there. So they packed the nigga up and sent the nigga out of there that night. So early in the morning, niggas like, yo, son, what happened with that shit last night? I was like, yo, I was going to the fucking bathroom five in the morning. You know what I mean? I opened my eyes, this nigga snuffed me. You know what I mean? Police was right there. Niggas was like, yo, son, you should have jumped on that nigga and whooped that nigga ass. You feel what I'm saying? So in my head, I'm like, I'm 17 years old. I'm like, that nigga's 60 something years old, my nigga with full gray hair. You understand what I'm saying? He's an old ass man. Like, you understand what I'm saying? I can't even see myself jumping on that nigga and whooping that nigga ass. You feel what I'm saying? Niggas like, nah, son, you should have fucked that nigga up, son. You should have fucked that nigga up. So the nigga get packed up. I go to the next dorm. So now, niggas in the dorm like, son, we not letting that rock, son. We not letting that rock. So that nigga stole off from you, son. He gotta get dealt with. He gotta get dealt with. Fuck that. So now my niggas is looking for the nigga. And trying to find out what dorm he in and shit like that. So now. It's, it's a situation. So now every time we go to the mess hall and shit, we trying to bump into this nigga to do something to him. Like, this is how jail will fuck your head up. This nigga a senior citizen. We looking for this nigga on the compound now. You understand what I'm saying? Because now I'm feeling a certain kind of way. I'm like, damn, nigga snuff me. I ain't do nothing. You feel what I'm saying? Nigga a fucking senior citizen. So we looking for this nigga. We finds the nigga. So... Nieta niggas, they already knew what time it was that niggas was looking for the nigga. So they was with the nigga on the walkway going to chow. So we run up on the nigga, yo, what's up, nigga? What up? You stealing off on niggas and all that? So literally the old man don't know what the fuck is even going on. He don't even remember that shit. The nigga suffering from dementia. You understand what I'm saying? They shouldn't even have this nigga in population. Regular nigga, he should be in a hospital somewhere. So... My, one of my mans, he runs up on the side. He about to steal off on the nigga. So then yet that nigga like, yo, 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 yo. We not gonna let y'all niggas beat up this old man. So my man like, yo, that nigga stole off on my man. So they like, yo, he's an old man. He does, he's, he does, he's off his medication. They not giving him correct medication. We wasn't really trying to hear none of that at the time because, you know, jail. So them niggas like, yo, we ain't gonna let that happen. So they forming all up around the nigga. So now... We like, oh, it's going to be on with these niggas now. You feel what I'm saying? And at the time, it really wasn't no wins with them niggas. Them niggas was super deep. You feel what I'm saying? So, niggas was like, yo, it's going to be on with these niggas. So, now it's on. Now I'm in the dorm. You understand what I'm saying? We trying to figure out how we going to get to niggas and shit like that. The nigga goes to another dorm. They pack the old nigga up. He goes to another dorm. And he does the same shit to somebody else in the middle of the night. Bong steals off on a nigga. You understand what I'm saying? The police try to come in. He pops off on the police. The old nigga. They sent him to the box. They used to call that shit 16th Street in Franklin. You know what I mean? You don't want to go to that box because they be beating the shit out of niggas and killing niggas in that box. And that's a fact. They send the old nigga to the box. They throw him in the box. The nigga pops off and does that same shit to the police in the box. And they jump him and kill him. And he dies in the box. That was the official story. 
They say he broke his neck fighting the police. But really, they probably broke his fucking neck because he probably punched one of them in the face and them niggas just went in. You understand what I'm saying? And beat that nigga up real bad. And he's an old ass man. He couldn't take it and he died in the box. And then niggas was in the jail acting like they was ready to riot over him. You understand what I'm saying? And all of this shit. And I look back at that now and I'll be like, what if we did something to that old ass man? That nigga was off his meds. He was being, he wasn't being housed correctly. You understand what I'm saying? He shouldn't have been in population amongst regular motherfuckers like that when he was sick like that. And jail had us ready to jump the nigga and pop, the, pop off on the nigga and shit like that. And he still ended up losing his life in the penitentiary. Real talk. So you can't listen to anybody's advice in the can. You can't, sometimes you gotta think like a free motherfucker. Them niggas had made friends with some Buffalo nigga. Now I know y'all niggas know I was beefing with Conway and shit. And I be shitting on Buffalo, fucking with Conway. I shit on Buffalo just to make Conway mad. Because I was up north with some real Buffalo niggas that get it in crazy. So I know Buffalo get it in crazy. I know Buffalo is the hood. I know niggas from Buffalo is real niggas. I know all of that. I just like to fuck with Conway. So check it. I'm going to tell you how one time a basketball game turned extremely bloody. Now me and Franklin. So boom. And this is when I first got to Franklin like I'm in H2. So I'm in there with a lot of good dudes. Like my nigga Mike. Now I got a few stories that surround my nigga Mike. You understand what I'm saying? Some dudes names I'ma mention. Some dudes I'm not. You understand what I'm saying? But basically like boom. So, now I mean, I'm fucking with my son Mark from the Bronx. Like, I think son from 143rd. That's my son. Been looking for that nigga since I came home from the pen. Still ain't, he the only nigga I ain't bump into since I came home from the pen. I'm in there with my son Pop from the Bronx. These niggas all older than me. You understand what I'm saying? And they all show me love. You feel what I'm saying? And they fuck with me. Sometimes that love be tough love, but now I mean, niggas fuck with me. Now I mean, so I'm fucking with my son Stokes. My son Stokes, he's a funny ass nigga. He ain't on no street shit or none of that hoodlum type of shit. He just a regular black nigga that's a funny motherfucker, my nigga Stokes. This nigga used to tell me, I used to rap in my sleep. This was in 9 4. He used to be like, yo, my nigga, you be rap. He'd be like, I'm telling you, boy, you rap in your sleep. I was like, niggas, what are you talking about? He like, you be spitting rats. Then he start calling niggas. He like, yo, come, come. He like, what this nigga be doing in his sleep? Niggas like, yo, you shouldn't be rapping, son. You be spitting verses. So I'm like, it's probably shit that I be listening to. Niggas, like, niggas used to be like, nah, son. I never heard these bars, son. And, and these shits be fire. So I said, who the fuck bars is they like? He's like, I don't know, son, but it's fire. Real talk. You know what they say. Whatever you do in your sleep is what you meant to do. What you destined to do. So I mean, this nigga, my son Stokes, be like, yo, you be rapping full songs in your fucking sleep, my nigga. But anyway. So I'm fucking with my other bro. That who name I can't remember right now. It's unbelievable I can't remember son name right now. Because this was my son crazy. Um, I can't remember son name, but check it. Remember the booty bandit that I told you? The dude Wade? The nigga who pulled the nigga pants down and sucked the nigga off and all of that? This is his brother. You understand what I'm saying? His blood brother, my nigga. But he don't fuck with the nigga because his brother is on some booty bandit shit. This is my son, his name will come back to me. This nigga like 40 something years old. Like I said, I'm 17, you know what I mean? But this nigga, this nigga was my son. This was my real, he was a real nigga, right? This nigga is locked up for, son is from the Ville and all of that. Like he from, he from up the hill. You understand what I'm saying? Or either he from up the hill or from the stop. You understand what I'm saying? Son had been literally locked up since the days of the Tomahawks. You understand what I'm saying? An old school Brownsville gang. You understand what I'm saying? And he was a jolly stomper. And he was locked up for killing a tomahawk. At the time, I think son had like 20 something joints in or something crazy like that. I don't remember. But he a quiet motherfucker and he a real motherfucker and he a lifer. Clinton ass behind the wall Max ass nigga You know what I mean And he don't fuck with the nigga Wade And it's funny because I stopped communicating with the nigga Wade And then son became my man like crazy You understand what I'm saying So I used to fuck with son like crazy You know what I mean 
Like I said, I was surrounded by nothing but old time ass, life ass niggas, Clinton ass niggas. You understand what I'm saying? So my other man that I fuck with, who's his name intertwines into a few more stories and it gets real crazy. You understand what I'm saying? My son is from Harlem. He an old school nigga too. And he came to jail with a regular. Son came to jail with 40 robbery charges. You understand what I'm saying? Son had 40, showed me his rap sheet. Son had 40 armed robberies. And it was ran concurrent and son had um, a six to 18. You understand what I'm saying? Or six to 12, something like that. So son doing his bid. His brother gets killed while he doing his bid. Son is in motherfucking um, either in Sing Sing or in Clinton. I think in Clinton, matter of fact. I think it was Clinton. Son was in Clinton and them niggas was having movie night and the nigga who killed his brother came through Clinton. So now this nigga only got a 6 to 18 or 6 to 12. Now I mean niggas tell him, yo, that nigga who killed your brother, he here and he gonna be in the movies tonight. You understand what I'm saying? So my nigga is like, I gotta put some type of work in on this nigga. You feel what I'm saying? So my nigga stabs the nigga up in the movie theater, tries to murk the nigga and paralyzes the nigga paralyzes him you feel me so he catches a new charge they re-arrest the nigga resentence him so now he got now he got an eight to life that starts after the six to twelve once he see out on the six to twelve or the six to eighteen or wh whichever one it was they re-arrested son for the eight to life so now son got eight to life for stabbing the nigga up in the movie theater in clinton um the nigga who killed his brother so now we in franklin together son is about at this time 35 years old i'm 17 years old like i said but this nigga was like my right hand man me and son was eating together he was another nigga that sniffed that d a lot of niggas in that mountain in the mountain sniffed that d because bro that that time be hard bro that time be hard so niggas be looking for an escape from that shit you understand what i'm saying so he a, he a 35 year old nigga he sniffed dope but son keeps it official with me you understand? He keeps it official. He tells me straight up, yo, son. You understand what I'm saying? He ain't tell me everything. And that's another story that I'm going to tell niggas that's a heartbreaking story. You feel what I'm saying? But, um, basically, niggas is real niggas in the dorm. It's good niggas in the dorm. I'm fuck with niggas. I'm the youngest nigga in the whole jail at the time, like I told y'all niggas. You understand what I'm saying? And this is a jail with, like, a, like 1600 inmates and the shit is a compound the size of like uh like let's say uh from like uh when you first hit fulton street like from on from on j side all the way to like maybe farragut that's how big the jail is like you understand what i'm saying from fulton street downtown brooklyn walk into farragut projects that's the size of franklin you understand what i'm saying maybe so we in the dorm one day. Now my nigga who I fuck with in the dorm that sniffed D, that's that had the 40 robberies and stabbed the nigga. Son is dumb, nice, and basketball. He be busting niggas ass. So he be having the whole house hype and niggas be playing ball. You feel what I'm saying? He be busting niggas ass. One day niggas go to the gym. I don't even go with niggas. Niggas told me what happened after shit happened. You understand what I'm saying? So I, niggas go to the gym. So while they balling, this nigga that's in the dorm he from Long Island. I hate to keep saying shit. Like, I'm going to tell a story about the crazy real Long Island niggas I know and crazy goons and gangsters from Long Island that I know that was running jails and all type of shit. I'm going to tell the stories of them niggas too. But it's just coincidentally, this nigga happened to be from Long Island too. You feel me? So, he comes in the dorm. Like I said, niggas don't know him like that. This nigga from Long Island. He just came in the dorm. And really, he's not really a street dude. He's just a regular dude who got locked up. Everybody in jail ain't some street ass nigga. Some niggas just committed a crime, went to jail this first time in their life and they locked up and it's a rap. You feel what I'm saying? And he was one of those type of niggas. He wasn't really a street nigga, but he just was a regular nigga. But his mouth, it was his first time in jail. He came straight from Oster to Franklin. So he ain't never like really been nowhere. So this nigga mouth was mad loose. He was talking to niggas greasy. Like he just be talking to niggas a little bit too greasy. So niggas is like really don't really feel a nigga like that. But niggas ain't saying nothing. And he an older dude too. He a nigga well in his 30s. You understand what I'm saying? So, um, so niggas go play basketball in the gym one day. So, um, my man, 
these other these other two niggas, they all play these other two niggas from the house and other niggas from my house, they playing basketball. So this nigga is playing with them. And he he talking major shit like Y'all niggas, yo, play some fucking defense, nigga. The fuck is you doing? That nigga busting your ass. He beating you up on the motherfucker. That nigga posting you up. What the fuck is wrong with you? So he talking to niggas like that. That's these niggas is gangsters. You feel what I'm saying? Like, niggas is like, who is this nigga talking to? Like, niggas don't even know this. We don't even know this nigga. So like I said, the whole gym wreck run, he's talking mad reckless to niggas playing ball, getting too high. This is why I don't really do sports in jail amongst niggas I don't know. If I'm gonna play ball, it's gonna be my peoples. I'm not playing ball with some next niggas, because that shit is a recipe for destruction in jail. You feel what I'm saying? So, this nigga talking mad greasy to these niggas, and this nigga don't know this nigga. They don't know this nigga. So, boom. They come back, they come back from the gym. Niggas come back from the gym, niggas putting their shit in their locker. So I'm seeing, I'm seeing movement. So I'm like, yo, so I tell my son, like, yo, son, what happened? What's going on? So he was like, yo, my man was like, my son that sniffed the dope and shit. He was like, yo, this nigga was talking mad reckless to these young boys. And he don't know these young boys. Like, these niggas ready to tear his brain out. You understand what I'm saying? So them niggas ain't had no ratchet. So my man passes them niggas a ratchet like this. Yo, boom. So I'm like, oh, shit, it's going down. You understand what I'm saying? So now they back from playing basketball. So niggas is in the day room. The kid is in the day room. The nigga who was talking shit, he still stayed, stayed down. He ain't even, at first it was two niggas that was going to see some. One had a ratchet. My man passed the nigga. I might, my man might have passed two ratchets to them niggas, but they both had ratchets, right? The nigga is sitting in the day room with this other nigga who is a nigga that's my man from Brooklyn too. That son was a wild nigga. You understand what I'm saying? Whose name I ain't going to mention, but he's sitting next to the nigga. You understand what I'm saying? He wasn't at the gym, so he don't know what the fuck was going on at the gym. So this nigga is in the motherfucking day room sitting in there. So now I'm in the day room. So like I hear the door come, the door open now in the day room, you know, it's a TV on the outside, there's a TV on the inside. You understand what I'm saying? The inside TV, that shit is in a glass room. You go in there, you close the door, the whole room is glass, real glass. The nigga who name I ain't gonna mention, he comes in the, he comes in the day room with his man. The nigga is sitting in the back of the day room. You know it'd be cigarette. At this time, you could smoke. So it was cigarette butt cans all over the floor where niggas uses an ashtray. You understand what I'm saying? So this nigga comes in a, in a joint. He like, yo, my nigga. He comes in. He like, yo, my nigga. Who the fuck you was talking to on a basketball court like that? Who you was talking to on a basketball court? So the nigga looks. He see these niggas got ratchets in their hands. The nigga tries to jump up. And pick up a chair Now these them hard hard chairs You feel me The nigga the nigga jumps up Picks up a chair And he swings the shit at the nigga Wong Hits the nigga with the chair One of the niggas He rags him Wong In his face Wong Blew the nigga Boom His other man come around Blow the nigga Boom So now them niggas jump on top of the nigga It's two of these niggas Tearing this nigga ass up Whipping this nigga up So check this real shit them niggas had made friends with some Buffalo nigga. Now, I know y'all niggas know I was beefing with Conway and shit. And I be shitting on Buffalo, fucking with Conway. I shit on Buffalo just to make Conway mad. Because I was up north with some real Buffalo niggas that get it in crazy. So I know Buffalo get it in crazy. I know Buffalo is the hood. I know niggas from Buffalo is real niggas. I know all of that. I just like to fuck with Conway. You know, this, They had made friends with some Buffalo kid who was also brand new up north. You know what I mean? And... He was talking to them niggas for like two, three days, but they was mad. It got mad cool. They was going to chow together. They was eating together. So they started fucking with the little buffalo dude. You understand what I'm saying? So he didn't know what the fuck was popping off. He seen his mans in there tearing that nigga up, and he ran up in there too with them niggas and started tearing the nigga up with them. Bing, bong, bong, bing, bing. So these niggas is in the motherfucking day room scrapping crazy. I jump up, I'm trying to move out the fucking way because these niggas is coming towards me like fighting. You understand what I'm saying? The whole day room getting up, moving out the way. So these niggas is tussling crazy. Boom, boom. They stay washing this nigga, smashing this nigga with the chair. They picking up chairs. They hitting the nigga in the head with the chair. Bong, bong. Now I mean niggas is cutting this nigga. All three of these niggas is tearing this nigga the fuck up, my nigga. I kid you not, this is work, this is my word is bond. Real talk, my nigga. Like I told you, the little day room is glass. The whole little day room was red, covered in blood. 
Every window was covered with blood. You could not see inside of the little day room because all of the windows were red with blood. That is my word. You understand what I'm saying? And them niggas was still in there getting it the fuck in. Everybody done ran out. These niggas scrapping so hard, they break like two of the glasses. So now the day room window is broke. You understand what I'm saying? And these niggas is still in there popping. They cutting this nigga up a hundred times. You feel what I'm saying? So this nigga comes out. The nigga who they cut up. This nigga leaking. Leaking, dripping blood everywhere. The whole floor is red, my nigga. The whole floor of the day room was red. All of the windows, the ones that wasn't broken out, them shits was red, my nigga. Real fucking talk. So... They snatched these little niggas up. They snatched all of these niggas up. These niggas was older than me, but they was young niggas. You feel what I'm saying? So they snatched all these niggas up, took niggas to the box. I don't know what happened to the little buffalo nigga, but he just seen his mans popping, and he popped off with his mans and got stupid. And they cuffed him up and took the nigga out there too. You understand what I'm saying? He, the main nigga that ran up on him in the first place that wanted to cut the nigga, they took him to the box. Niggas starved him. I heard that one of the police got cut by mistake while tussling with them niggas. Nigga, police cut his hand by tussling with them niggas by one of the razors or something like that. So for revenge, niggas, I heard they starved son in the box for like 10 days, my nigga. 10 days they didn't feed this nigga. Or when they did feed him, they was pissing in his food and spitting in his food and shit like that. And he seen it, so he just didn't eat. Son came out, he was dumb, slim, and fucked up. Like, yo, these niggas starved me in the box. But the nigga must ain't snitch because he didn't go to jail. He came back to population. So the nigga who they tore up crazy like that, he must have kept it official, my nigga. Real fucking talk. And that was in Franklin. Basketball game went haywire. And that's a fact. I'm going to tell y'all the story on the nigga who I saw up north with the most brolic, shank, banger, bone crusher, whatever you want to call it. That I ever saw in the penitentiary Remember I told y'all Son pulled out the He-Man sword By the way when I say the He-Man sword I just mean that's how long that shit was Pause Of course the nigga ain't have a real sword in jail This jail my nigga But he had a piece of metal In the shape of a sword That was crazy fucking long Like He-Man shit So you know what I mean You could think it's a game if you want to Go up north thinking that niggas don't got no He-Man swords You might get chased by one You heard But anyway so while we on the subject of Buffalo and shit, I was thinking about my nigga Cash. That's from Rochester and Buffalo. He always talking about, yo nigga, I'm one of the only niggas that could rock, that could, that could get it in the rock and in Buffalo. Now I mean, both of those is my hood. That's all this nigga talk about is Rochester and Buffalo. You feel what I'm saying? But he a real nigga and he a funny ass nigga. Now I mean, and he crazy wild brolic crazy brolic you feel what i'm saying so i'm in the yard one day son comes up to me he like this yo what up i might need you to help me with some shit so i'm like what up you feel me he like yo i'm trying to stash this bang i'm trying to get this banger back to the dorm i'm like yo i mean you want me to throw the block for you when you stash the shit in the yard in the grass or something you know what I mean, wouldn't that be better than trying to sneak that shit back to the dorm? He like, nah, I can't keep keeping this shit in the yard. Somebody gonna find this shit, and then I'm gonna be mad. So I'm like, yo, how niggas gonna find that shit? He like, yo, this shit is brolic. You know what I mean? So I'm like, let me let me see the shit. He like, yo, hold up, because these niggas is already watching me. I'm like, yeah, nigga, because you hot as fuck. You know what I mean? Running around the yard looking suspicious, trying to stash mad big brolic bangers. You feel me? So we spinning for a little while. I'm like, yo... I'm like, yo, let me see that shit. Nigga like this. Then he reaches in his waist and pulls the shit out. Yong. I'm like, it's like the shit construction workers use when they make cemented sidewalks and they put like a rod, pause, in between the, the cement to keep the shit straight. Like a big ass iron rod with ridges in it. This shit right here. Nigga pulls out a piece of that shit like a foot long, my nigga with a blanket and a sheet wrapped around it for a handle, torn up blanket and sheet wrapped around for the handle, the front of that shit, he somehow got that shit broke off into a jagged ass point. When that nigga pulled that shit out, young, I was like, bro, 
This is what you need to do, my nigga. You need to throw that shit away. Get that shit away from you. And act and pretend like you never had nothing to do with that big barbarian, Conan the Barbarian shit. That if you get caught with that shit, nigga, you're going to get three new charges. So as a friend, I'm telling you, my nigga, throw that shit away. Get rid of that shit. This nigga laughing. Nah, son, you crazy? You crazy? I get two cartons for the shit, my nigga. I'm going to get two cartons for the shit. I'm like, bro, look, my nigga, I'm going to be forced to spin this way and get away from you, my nigga. If you're going to be walking around with that fucking medieval stab a nigga whole kidney whole nigga whole kidney be laying on the floor if you stab a nigga with that son if you carrying that shit i'm gonna have to spin this way my nigga he like yo come on my nigga this shit ain't nothing we're gonna get this shit back to the dorm we're gonna get this shit back to the dorm i'm like nah nigga you gonna get that shit back to the dorm because that shit ain't coming nowhere near me do you know what that shit will do to a nigga if you stab a nigga with that there is no help there is no stitches I said, bro, look, my nigga, this jail shit, this prison shit, this shit fucking you up, son. You losing track of reality, my nigga. You in here, this jail, my nigga, but you will get a new charge fucking with some shit like that, my nigga. Police catch you with some shit like that. They not asking no questions. You getting the cuffs on you, you going to Malone County Court. Real talk, my nigga. This nigga laughing, thinking this shit is funny like this. Yo, come on, son, you exaggerating. Nah, I'm not exaggerating, son. I'm not exaggerating at all, my nigga. That shit you got in your waist, my nigga? That shit is barbaric and savage, my nigga. I never seen no shit like that. You need to throw that shit away and pretend you never seen that shit in your life, my nigga. Because let me tell you this. If you bring that shit back to the dorm, 12 niggas gonna drop a slip on you tonight, my nigga. If anybody see you stashing that shit, 12 slips gonna be in the box tonight, my nigga. I'ma tell you that. Real talk. Thug niggas and gangsters is gonna snitch on you when they see your big brolic ass is running around with a banger like that, my nigga. They gonna be like, all right, we gotta get this nigga out of here. He gotta go back to the max jail. This is a medium facility, Cash. Type of shit I was telling that nigga. Son, this is a medium security facility, my nigga. This is not Clinton. This is not Comstock. This is not Shawan Gunk or none of them wild ass Max jails. You do not need, you do not need some shit that's going to take a nigga whole intestines out. You understand what I'm saying? Like, it's not, it's not intelligent right now, my nigga. Know what I mean? We got to make better decisions than this as men. You feel me? <laughs> Yo, that nigga Cash is fucking hilarious, my nigga. I love him. You heard? I ain't speak to son in 20 something years. I hope he good. I hope he alive and well and not in the penitentiary. But that nigga had the biggest fucking ratchet pause that I ever saw in the state of New York. Look, I almost bust my ass. That nigga, how I'm busting my ass on salt though? I don't understand that. Like this is salt on the ground. I'm slipping and busting my ass on the salt? Only me nigga. But anyway, like I said, son had the most destructive, maniac, barbaric, medieval, life-threatening prison weapon I've ever seen in my life, my nigga. And I hope that shit ain't still floating around Franklin Correctional Facility. You heard? I'm back in the yard, you heard? I'm back in the yard, you heard? So boom, when they shipped me out of Gabriel, right? The nigga sent me back to Franklin, right? So like I said, when I got there, the whole jail is flipped. Everything is different. It's just a different energy over the whole jail. Like It's a different lighting over the whole jail. Like the whole jail just looked different. To I was never in the main, I was in the annex. And they sent me back to the annex. I think I was in N, I, I, can't, I think I was in L1 or L2. I can't remember which dorm I was in, but it was whatever dorm it was, it was the one that's all the way in the back. The last dorm in the jail. So I go to the mess hall and shit, right? So I'm in the jail. I'm looking for niggas that I was in the jail with the last time. Like, where my mans and these niggas at, right? I'm not seeing nobody. So I go to the I go to the mess hall. I see a nigga from my old dorm. 
for the sake of this story, we call him G-Boy. So I'm like, yo, what's up with my nigga G-Boy? Where that nigga G-Boy at? So, I mean, a nigga was like, so nigga was like, son chilling, he's still over there. Like, the nigga response was type light. You feel me? So I'm like, why that nigga response type light like that? So, boom, some other nigga, he hears me asking about the nigga G-Boy, right? Some other nigga. So... The other nigga, this is a nigga, this nigga from Long Island, right? I don't know this nigga at all. He a new nigga in the jail, you heard? But this nigga over aggressive on some extra tough shit, you feel me? So his whole vibe, I wasn't feeling his whole vibe. So the nigga was like, hey yo, hey yo, you, hey yo, you, you G boy man, you heard? So I'm like, first of all, I'm like, I don't know this nigga. I don't even know why he talking to me, you heard? So I'm like, yo, yeah, that's my man. Why, what's up? So the nigga like this, yo, word the mother, that nigga fucking with a chump. He like, that nigga fucking with a chump. So I'm like, what? I'm like, nah, you can't be talking about the, you can't be talking about the same nigga I'm talking about. He said, that nigga fucking with a chump, nigga. He said, so if that's your boy, you need to holler at that nigga, you heard? So I'm like, first of all, not only do I not know this nigga, but he checking me about my man fucking with a chump in the jail, you heard? So I'm tight now. So boom, my next day, I'm on the walkway. I see this nigga. So I'm like, yo, son, what up? He like, yo, what's up, nigga? I'm like, yo, what up, nigga? What's this shit I'm hearing? He like, nothing, nigga. Nothing. I'm like, nah, it ain't nothing. It ain't nothing. It's something. I'm like, what's this shit I'm hearing? Come to the gym. You understand what I'm saying? I'm like, yo, come to the gym, my nigga. I don't know if we had the bubble or the gym that night. Either one. I think it was the gym. Yeah, it was the gym. So I was like, yo, come to the gym tonight, my nigga. Real talk. I got to holler at you. So he like, I bet. So the nigga comes, so we meet up in the gym that night. Now, at first, I wasn't even gonna tell this story because in the day and times that we living in, you know what I mean? Niggas is canceling niggas like a trash TV series, you heard? And it's like, you don't know what you can say and what you can't say nowadays. But I'm just keeping it thorough on how life was in the penitentiary. You understand what I'm saying? So, and I can't, I can't tell the story of Franklin and the story of my bib without explaining this shit here. So, so son comes to the gym that night. So I'm like, yo, I'm like, yo, what's up with you, my nigga? I said, yo, you got niggas. I said something. I said, you got some niggas telling me you fucking with chumps in the jail and all of that. Like, what's that about, nigga? What's that about? So he like, yo, that shit, you can't be believing anything you hear, my nigga. You can't be believing anything you hear. I said, listen, my nigga. Sound travels at 1,120 feet per second. I mean, son started trying to explain the shit, and then he gave up trying to explain the shit. He said, yo, nigga, I'm just going to keep it real with you. He like, yo, I got my dick sucked by the chump, nigga. He said, I got my dick sucked by the chump. When that nigga said that, that shit just felt like a nigga took a knife and stabbed that shit through my heart. I was like this. What? He was like, nigga, I'm ashamed. He said, I'm ashamed, nigga, but I'm going to tell you. He said, I'm going to tell you because you my man and I ain't going to sit here and lie to you. He said, I got my dick sucked by the chump. So I was like, yo, my nigga, real talk. I said, I don't want to, I don't even want to hear that dick suck shit, nigga. If you got your dick sucked, you did everything. You feel what I'm saying? I don't want to hear that shit. He like, yo, son, I got, I got this amount of time, man. I got that amount of time. I said, son, none of that shit ain't no fucking excuse, my nigga. I know niggas that got 20 years in that ain't engaging in that shit, like, you know what I mean? So what I'm trying to figure out is like, my nigga, what the fuck was you doing? How you even got caught up in that shit? He like, yo, the chump was telling me this and telling, sending messages and kites. I said, yo, bro, real talk, my nigga. I can't believe you, my nigga. I said, I can't fucking believe you, my nigga. You heard? So the nigga was like, nah, nigga, it ain't just me either. It ain't just me. It's such and such too. You feel what I'm saying? So I'm like, what? So the nigga like, yeah, son. You know what I mean? And son is going to come and talk to you too. Real talk. I'm like, yo, son, y'all niggas is killing me, my nigga. Y'all niggas killed me, you heard? I'm like, yo, my nigga, like, come on, my nigga. I'm like, yo, so you telling me, y'all niggas, so the last time I was here, you telling me y'all niggas was doing that shit behind my back? So the nigga like, nah, son, nah, son, while you was here, niggas had too much respect for you, son. Niggas had too much respect for you, niggas ain't do nothing while you was here, son. When you left, niggas did that shit. I'm like, 
Yo, that nigga was crying. My son started crying. You heard? The nigga started crying like, yo, son, I played myself, son. He said, I played myself, son. I know. I know I played myself. I'm like, yo, son, how you going to do this to me, my nigga? I said, you my fucking son. How you going to do this to me, my nigga? You feel me? You my man and all of that shit. But it's like, yo, nigga, in jail, tell me who you walk with. I tell you who you are. You feel what I'm saying? If niggas see me in a jail fucking with you, niggas going to automatically assume that, that I engage in that shit. You feel what I'm saying? He like, yo, I understand that, son. I understand that, son. He like, yo, word of mother, son. I'm like, yo, son, yo, word of mother, that's fucked up, my nigga. I said, that's fucked up, my nigga, that you would do some shit like that. You, I said, you spent all this time, nigga, getting a reputation, not me, all this time making your name gold in the pen, and you going to throw it away like that, my nigga? I said, that's fucking crazy, my nigga. I said, I feel like fucking blowing your head off, real talk. I said, son, I feel like fucking cutting your face off, man. Real fucking talk. And I had a razor. And I had a razor. And I had the razor in my hand. This shit was dramatic because I ain't going to cut this nigga. But this how mad this nigga had me. You feel me? So I'm like, yo, my nigga, I feel like he was like, yo, son, do it, son. He like, yo, you should, nigga. Fuck that. Cut me, son. Cut me, son. I ain't shit. You feel me? And I'm like, nah, nigga. Nah, nigga. Nah, me. I said, you just fucking broke my heart, my nigga. Real talk, you fucking broke my heart, son, with that shit. You understand what I'm saying? And I'm gonna always fucking love you and you gonna always be my man, my nigga. But now I gotta keep, I gotta give you 200 feet like a fucking fire truck in this jail now because niggas gonna think I engage in that shit now if I'm running around spinning the yard with you and all of that crazy shit, my nigga. Real fucking talk. So he like, yo, son, I understand that, son. I understand that, son. And that shit just was hurtful to me, my nigga. And you understand what I'm saying? And let me explain this. You know, this was this was 1996 or, 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 or late 95, you heard? But probably early 96. And it's like, yo, know what I mean? Listen, my nigga, whatever a nigga's sexuality is, whatever a nigga do with his cock, that's on that nigga, my nigga. But in jail, that shit was highly frowned upon and it was a test, it was a test of your strength. Like, yeah, nigga, we all doing time. We all miss pussy. You, you understand what I'm saying? We all wish we could stick our dick into something. But are you going to let this shit break you to whereas... You understand what I'm saying? Where you start hallucinating and shit? Where you start motherfucking lying to yourself and convincing yourself that you like something that you know you don't really like? Like, that shit crazy, my nigga. You understand? So there are some killers that engage, that engage in a homosexual lifestyle. You feel me? And they are respected. And then, but then, but the majority of motherfuckers that engage in homosexual behavior in the penitentiary, they get disrespected. People lose respect for them. People feel like they could do whatever they want to them. Like, unless you a killer, you understand? But if you a regular nigga and you start fucking around in jail, niggas be feeling like they could do anything to you. Like, you understand what I'm saying? You could get ran out, burnt out, stabbed up, cut up. Nobody gives a fuck. You understand what I'm saying? When I was in green, I told you I seen a dude get oil thrown in his face. But another time, another situation, it was an older dude that came to green. And basically, he was always preaching to the young niggas, but he was also messing with a chump. You understand what I'm saying? And dudes found out about that. He in the dorm preaching to niggas, yo, you can't do this, you shouldn't do that. But when he in the yard, he's spinning around with, with, with a chump. So niggas like, yo, we tired of this nigga. And niggas threw grease on that nigga face and burnt his whole face off. And I mean, and I'll leave that for another story. And my nigga, um, Poe would tell that one, you heard? Because he was in the dorm when it happened. But, um, yeah, man. But basically, yeah, so like, once you engage in that, it's like, it's like tarnishing your legacy. It's like disrespecting your name. It's like making your name trash. You feel what I'm saying? It's like whatever real shit you did, you understand what I'm saying? Whatever hood you represent, you putting a stain and a tarnish on your hood by engaging in that shit in jail. You feel what I'm saying? When you supposed to be a thug or a street nigga. Let me clarify that. Because like I said, some motherfuckers is gay and go to jail and they, they continue being gay in jail. But we talking about niggas who supposed to be thugs and gangsters and real niggas and live wires. You understand what I'm saying? And lit niggas and you understand what I'm saying? All of that crazy shit. When, once you engage in that type of behavior, your, your reputation is tarnished. You understand what I'm saying? So it wasn't so much it hurt me that a nigga. What hurt me the most was that son flushed his whole name and reputation down the toilet. You understand what I'm saying? And and our reputation because I was known for fucking with you. 
I was known as your man. You understand what I'm saying? So that shit, like I said, it was it was hurtful. And then my other man that he also told me engaged after I left, he came to speak to me the next day. And he's way older than me. And he's a nigga with a nice amount of time in, not excusing anything or making or justifying anything. But he's a nigga that got 15 and better in. You feel me? That nigga comes to the gym to poly with me. And son tells it to me straight up. He like, yo, listen, my nigga. While you was in this jail, I had too much respect for you. And I wanted to make too much of a good impression on you to engage in any type of shit like that, my nigga. You feel me? He like, I couldn't I couldn't do that with you in the dorm. I couldn't set that type of example for you. You understand what I'm saying? You 17 years old in the dorm with us and shit. And I'm fucking with chumps and shit like that in the dorm. He said, I couldn't do that to you. But after you left, my nigga, I ain't think you was coming back. You feel me? And, and and frankly, my nigga, I got a dope habit. I ain't got no family. Nobody give a fuck about me in these streets. And this chump nigga got a whole bunch of motherfucking money. So if he want to suck my dick to make sure my books is right and my motherfucking locker is fat and I can sniff dope anytime I want to and I ain't got to worry about robbing niggas to eat, he said, my nigga, then I'm going to do that, my nigga. And I'm just keeping it real with you. You heard? And I apologize that you got to be, you understand what I'm saying, sucked into my bullshit because I know niggas know you for fucking with a nigga like me. You understand what I'm saying? And he said, but I just got to keep it 100 with you, my nigga. This the penitentiary. Like, I don't know when I'm going home or if I'm ever going home. And that ain't even no excuse. He said, but I'm letting you know, my nigga. That's what the business is, you heard? And, and it, was so, it was so straightforward and real. I couldn't do nothing but respect it. And he said, yo, son, you know, of course you got to stay away from me, my nigga. I don't want you around me because there's a bunch of niggas in this jail hate hating me right now because of what I'm doing. You know what I mean? So I don't even want you around me, my nigga, but I love you. You heard? And you stay up, nigga, and you know what I mean? And you make sure you stay out of bullshit, you heard? We was all in the annex, but I was getting ready to be transferred to the main. That's what it was, man. So I come back to the jail, two dudes that I was real tight with. There's a bunch of niggas that was my mans, but a lot of them niggas had left. But two dudes that I was real tight with, I found out that they both fell victim to, you know what I mean? Doing what they did in jail, you feel me? And that shit was, that shit was disappointing to me. So... That shit just taught me a lesson, like, you know, you don't really know motherfuckers the way you think you know motherfuckers, like, you may think you know people, but people got secrets, man, so, you know what I mean? I learned. So, boom. Remember, I told you I left Gabriel. I had I had a tier three ticket pending over my head, so now I'm in the, I'm in the annex in Franklin, but at any day, I'm gonna go to the ticket hearing, and when I go to the ticket hearing, they're gonna find me guilty of everything and I think they gave me 90 days loss of everything. I don't remember, but 90 or 60 days loss of everything. Cause a tier three in Camp Gabriel to Franklin, it ain't that serious to them niggas. You feel what I'm saying? Them niggas tier threes be niggas getting killed. You feel what I'm saying? Or niggas, or niggas almost getting killed. So when you came and I came back, them niggas like, they don't really give a fuck about that Camp Gabriel shit. You feel me? But they still, they still, you know, I'm going to a ticket hearing for some shit I caught in a different jail. You feel what I'm saying? So them niggas be like, whatever. So I don't know if them niggas gave me 60 or 90 days, everything, loss of everything. You feel me? I think it was 60 though. So boom. So now I'm in a dorm. Like I said, old friends, I can't fuck with them like that no more. If I want to survive in the penitentiary and be respected in the penitentiary, you heard? So now... I'm kind of dolo. It ain't too many niggas in the jail I know. So, in my dorm that I'm in, this is this this fucking dorm was one of the worst dorms in the in the jail. Like shit, dumb, strict, boring as a motherfucker. You heard? Like I said, old friends, I can't fuck with them like that no more. If I want to survive in the penitentiary and be respected in the penitentiary, you heard? So now I'm kind of dolo. It ain't too many niggas in the jail I know. So in my dorm that I'm in, 
this is this this fucking dorm was one of the worst dorms in the in the jail. Like shit, dumb, strict, boring as a motherfucker. Me and this nigga, first of all, I'm on QBQ. And Franklin, them niggas is strict with that shit, nigga. You can't be out your cube, and niggas can't be in your cube. And I'm in the double bunk cube, you heard? So, this police that was on, so this police that was working, nigga was a mad dickhead. Like, nigga just always, always be on my dick. Like, yo, Johnston, make sure you in your cube. You know you still got 40 days left or whatever. And I'll be like, yeah, my nigga, like, you tell me that every time you come in. Like, you know I'm not, I'm in my cube. What the fuck? You understand what I'm saying? So, the nigga Ja, nigga Mel Mel, son used to be in my queue. I mean, we be in there pollying all day. He don't supposed to be in there. So anytime the police start spinning around, son be getting low and creeping out of my cube and going back to his cube, right? So we be laughing and shit because he be almost catching niggas, but he never really catches niggas. And he, he never really catches niggas and he's a lame. You heard? So, like I said, all the time he be riding me. Yo, Johnston, I told you, better not be out your cube. You better be this. I'll be like, yeah, nigga. I'll be like, yo, I heard you. I heard you. No doubt. You feel me? So... This one particular time, the nigga John my cube. So the police is like, he hears shit coming from my cube. He see me polying, but he don't see I'm polying with nobody. So he like, Johnston, you better not have nobody in your cube. This and that, this and that. So I'm like, what you talking about, nigga? Ain't nobody in my cube. But the nigga Ja is on the low, creeping down, and, and he can't see the nigga from over the over the cube dividers. You feel me? So the nigga like, all right. So the police like, all right. You, I remember I warned you. So, a few minutes after that, he gets up to try to make a round and catch the nigga Ja slipping. You heard? So, son, son, I'm like, yo, son is coming, son, he coming. You heard? So, son bounces out. He goes around this way. The police comes through. He don't see the nigga. The nigga creeps around, goes, he creeps around the other side of the dorm, goes to his motherfucking cube. But the police know what time it is. Everybody in the back of the dorm is snickering and laughing. So he like, all right, y'all playing games. Y'all playing games? He said, when I write you up another ticket and give you another 30 days, you're not going to be laughing and joking. I'm like, yo, what you talking about, my bro? You paranoid. I'm like, ain't nobody in my cube. You just came here. You paranoid. You heard? So he like, all right. So the nigga, so he goes back to the desk. He's still talking shit. He like, I, I warn you every day. You keep playing with me. Y'all keep thinking I'm a game in this house. Y'all think I'm not the steady officer. Like, I don't know what's going on. Blah, blah. So this nigga, Ja, he in his cube. He like, yo, I'm tired of this nigga, man. You feel me? So the nigga like, while the nigga talking, the nigga Ja's like, I don't give a rat's ass. So the police like, who said that? Who said that? You playing games with me, Josh? I'm like, nigga, I ain't say nothing. You looking directly in my face. What are you talking about? If you, if I would have said something, you would have seen my mouth move. So he like, you better stop playing with me. I'm going to get you out this door. So the police take his head off and look the other way. The nigga jaw like this again. I don't give a rat's ass. You heard? So now the police like, all right. All right, say no more. Pack your shit up. So the reason why he really packed me up is because when Ja kept saying that shit, I don't give a rat's ass. I was laughing. And when he came to my spot, I couldn't stop laughing. You heard? So the police is like, all right, you want to play games? Now you're getting another ticket and you're getting packed up. So I'm like, yo, that wasn't me, but I can't stop laughing. But tears coming out my eyes. I'm like, yo, that wasn't me. That wasn't me. What you talking about? He like this. You want to play fucking games? You want to think everything is funny? Pack your shit up. Pack your shit up. So I'm like, yo, even though this nigga telling me to pack up, I'm crying, my nigga. I'm like, yo chill out my like, officer that was not me what are you talking about so the nigga like i don't care i don't care you and your man you and your friends y'all want to play games now you're getting out of here you're causing too much of disruption in this dorm you're causing too much rule breaking in this dorm so i'm like all right nigga whatever whatever so they pack my shit up so now the nigga the nigga jaw like damn son they packing you up i'm like yeah nigga you talking about i don't give a rat's ass i'm like yeah the nigga packing me up and nigga like damn i'm false so i'm like nigga i ain't sweating that shit my nigga what they gonna do? Send me to another dorm? I'm gonna see you on the compound. The reason why I started liking the nigga Ja is because at the time, son was a mad slim ass nigga. You heard? So one time we was walking the chow and some big brolic. Matter of fact, it was the same Long Island nigga. Trouble making ass Long Island nigga. Big brolic nigga. He come over, he like, hey yo, I heard you said some shit about my man, blah, 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 blah. So the nigga Ja was like, what? He like, yo, son, listen, my nigga. I ain't with all of that. If I had a problem with your man, I would straight step to your man. That so the nigga was like, 
Yeah, that sound good. That sound good. So Ja was like, nah, it is good, nigga. It is good. Fuck you talking about. It is good. And this nigga was a third of the size of this nigga. You heard? I, I was feeling son's level of intolerance. You heard? Real talk. I was feeling son's level of, I don't give a fuck who you are. Don't disrespect me, nigga. I'm from Fort Greene. You heard? So after that, I like the nigga Ja. And me and the nigga start fucking with each other crazy. But him talking that, I don't give a rat's ass shit. That shit got me packed up out the dorm. So ironically, they packed me up out that dorm. I forgot, I think N, I forgot what dorm I was in. M, N, whatever. But I landed in the dorm with the nigga KC. Latin King nigga KC, that's my son. You heard? I, I ended up in the dorm with the nigga KC, the nigga Jake Horn from Long Island, and a few other niggas. You heard my nigga Hev, Latin King nigga Hev. Know what I mean? From, from the height, son looks straight black. You would think he a straight black nigga from the south. You heard here, straight Latin King nigga, Dominican nigga. That was my son. Me, Hev, KC, Jaquan, and a few other niggas I can't remember right now. But basically, yeah, and I mean, I was in that dorm for a minute. And then, um, I don't know what the fuck happened to make them niggas pack me up and go to the main. But I ended up going to the main. And when I went to the main, that's when I was in the dorm with that booty bandit nigga that was trying to rape niggas and all of that, right? And then I went to, um... The program committee when you go to the program committee let you pick something that you want to do in the jail and i had a few years in matter of fact i got hit at the board i got hit at the board nigga i went to the board um i don't know how i skipped all of that shit like right after they packed me up right after they packed me up but i know i had went to the fucking board you understand what i'm saying and i got hit with two years straight up i went up in there i had i tried to have a plan on what i was going to say how i was going to say it and them niggas just hit me with a left field question. Like, yo, they ain't even asked nothing about my case. They just was like, what was you doing with a gun at 16 years old? Like, why did you feel you had to have a gun? And of course, I said the same old corny cliche for protection. The niggas was like, all right, we'll be in touch, Mr. Johnston. You understand what I'm saying? I had that broad Miss Buchanan. Anybody who knew about Miss Buchanan, leave a comment. You understand what I'm saying? If, you, if she was at your parole board, forget about it, bro. You're not going home. You heard? So I seen her, I'm like, it's a rap. You heard? So them niggas hit me with two years. Nigga, I got that envelope. Niggas to be like, yo, if the envelope is heavy, that means you got hit because there's appeal papers in it. If the envelope is light, you good, nigga. You going home, you heard? I got that envelope. Niggas gave me that shit. My arm was like this. Boom! That's how heavy that shit was. I was like, it's a rap, nigga. I opened that shit. Shit said, nigga, reappearance in two years. I'm like, ah, oh, I had three joints in Niggas hit me with that other two, like, yo, I thought I was gonna go home, my nigga, you heard? Niggas is like, know what I mean? If we let you go, you know, the same bullshit they say, severity of the crime and all of that. Boom, niggas hit me with another two joints. So now I got a whole nother two joints to do, my nigga. I'm fucking tight, you heard? I got a whole nother two years to do. That shit crushed me, nigga. That two years felt like 20 years, you heard? I'm like, damn. Shit had me stressed. Like I said, that's when I, after that, I ended up in the dorm with KC and Jaquan. And then I went to the program committee or whatever. And I took a mess hall porter spot. And I'm about to tell the story of the three shots. You heard? The three shots. I mean, I go to the program committee and I take a porter spot in the mess hall dorm. Right? So they ship me to the mess hall dorm. And when I get to the mess hall dorm, the nigga shots in there. You heard? But I'm still on key block. I still got, I could be a porter, but I'm still on key block, right? I can't come out my queue. So when I come over there, like I said, my uncle was in the main and my uncle was like the head of the body. You feel me? So once I got hit, once I got hit with that two years, I'm like, yo, word the mother. I was already listening to Mad Wu-Tang and getting all influenced by the Wu and shit like that on some guards and earth shit. So I'm like, that's my word, nigga. I got hit with that two years. I said, I'm getting knowledge of self. Or I'm going to go fucking crazy. You heard? Real talk. You know how they say, um, idle time is the devil's playground? Listen, nigga, that idle time up north, that shit is the devil's great adventure. You heard? So, boom. So, I'm like, yo, I got to get knowledge of self. It's a wrap. But like I said, I, I, I end up in the mess hall dorm. I go to the mess hall dorm. The nigga Shah's up in there. You heard? My, my uncle Kasim, he sends word over there. Yo, my nephew was in there. You heard? Holla at him. Make sure he aight over there. He on QB Cube and all of that. So 
I'm stressed, nigga. I'm on QB Cube. I can't go to the rec room. I can't go to the fucking. I can't go to the yard, gym, nothing. I'm just in my cube in the dorm, stressed all day. So the nigga Sha comes up to me. I ain't no Sha. I knew Cha, and I didn't know them niggas knew each other. The nigga Mel Mel from the fort. So, you know what I mean, I comes through. So I'm like, yo. So so Sha come up to me. He like, yo, you Kasim nephew? I'm like, yeah, what's up? He like, yo, that's that's the big bro, man. I love that nigga. That's the guard. You heard? Like, yo, if you need anything, my nigga, you let me know. You heard my name, Sha. So I'm like this. All right, my nigga, I respect that. Good looking. So the nigga like, a few minutes later, he come back. He like, yo, you on QBQ, right? I'm like, yeah. He's like, yo, you fuck with Pac? I'm like, hell yeah, I fuck with Pac. He like, yo, I got that Me Against the World album, you heard? So I'm like, what? That shit, nobody had that shit, you heard? Nobody had it in the jail yet. So he like, yo, I got that Me Against the World album. So I'm like, what? He like, yo, I could let you hold this Me Against the World album. He said, well, I'm going to the yard for two hours. He said, when I come back to that door, I'm going to need that shit immediately, you heard? Because I ain't listened to it yet. And if niggas found out that I let you hold it before other niggas, niggas will be real mad at me, my nigga. You heard? So keep that shit on the low. Don't tell nobody. And just listen to that shit. When I come back, let me know what you think. You heard? So I'm like, I ain't say no more, my nigga. I appreciate you. Think I'm on QBQ. Nigga, I'm bored to death. This nigga hitting me with the new Pac album. You heard? I'm like, this nigga real. I don't even know this nigga. You heard? So, I pops that shit in, nigga. I remember looking at now at the time, the Vibe magazine article was out with Pac was, you know, allegedly pointing fingers at this nigga and that nigga. And I wasn't feeling none of that. I was disappointed in the nigga Pac. I'm going to keep it real. I'm like, you know, I'm, I'm on my jail shit, so I'm heavily on my anti-snitching shit. You understand what I'm saying? I'm like, nah, son, you can't be incriminating niggas with your shit, my nigga. Come on, my nigga. What you doing? So I used to be, I wasn't feeling that shit. You understand what I'm saying? But, you know, you can't believe everything you read and the way niggas portray shit in, in newspaper articles and magazine articles either. Because sometimes you niggas be putting words in niggas' mouths. You heard? So I'm like, yo. So I looked at the cover. I'm like, this nigga got a cross on his neck on some Christian shit. You heard? I said, I hope this nigga ain't get soft on me, my nigga. I hope this nigga ain't get soft on me. With this be against the world album. You heard? I pops that shit in, throw the headphones on. Listening to the first couple of songs, I'm like, yo, this shit crazy, my nigga. So I'm like, yo, I see a song, I'm like, Lord knows. I said, oh man, I hope this nigga ain't rapping on some Christian rap shit. Nothing wrong with Christians, but like I'm saying, I was a real serious pop fanatic. So I wasn't feeling the whole thug life is dead and I'm giving it up. I wasn't feeling none of that. You feel me? But I now I understand that Pac was going through a lot of emotional turmoils at the time. So, you know what I mean? He was crying out for help and all of that. You feel me? So I fast forwarded that shit, my nigga. I fast forwarded that shit to Lord Knows. I can't remember what song Lord Knows was on the tape, but I put that shit on Lord Knows. You heard? When that shit came on, nigga, remember, I'm sitting there, I'm like, yo, I hope this nigga Pac ain't fucking get soft on me, man. You heard? I was a nigga fucking with Pac before he got murdered and before he was death row and all of that. I was been, I was, I knew the whole words, I knew all the words to Trapped when I was in the streets, you heard? When I was in the streets, nigga, I knew the words to Trapped, word for word. So, boom. So I fast forward that shit or whatever to Lord knows, right? So I press play, I'm like, yo, this nigga better not got soft on me, you hurt? I press play on that shit, that nigga was like I smoke a blunt to take the pain out And if I was a high, I'd probably try to blow my brains out I'm hopeless, they should've killed me as a baby And now they got me trapped in the storm, I'm going crazy Forgive me, they wanna see me in my casket And if I don't blast, I'll be a victim of them bastards I'm losing hope it got me stressing, can the Lord forgive me? Got the spirit of a thug in me. Another sip of that drink, this Hennessy got me queasy. Eh? Don't want an Earl, young nigga, take it easy. Eh? Picture your dreams on a triple beam, and it seems don't underestimate the power of a fiend. To my homies on the block, slinging rock with your Glock. Put this tape in your box when you running from the cops, and never look back. If they could be black, then they could switch. Open fire on them bust ass bitches, and Lord knows. 
I said, I will never underestimate this nigga again. I will never question him again. I took that fucking verse back and I listened to that song like five times. I'm like this, this nigga harder than he ever was. This nigga rawer than he ever was, you heard? I said, this nigga is the truth. What? Nigga, then I heard that death around the corner. You heard in that motherfucking me against the world and that motherfucking outlaw, outlaw. And at first I wasn't feeling, so check it. At first I wasn't feeling that outlaw song like that. That nigga Sha, when me and him started fucking with each other, I told him that he was like, what? You ain't feeling that outlaw song. He said, you must be out your motherfucking mind, nigga. You better go listen to that shit three or four times and get your head right. You heard? After a while, I'm like, what the fuck was I talking about, nigga? This is my favorite joint on the album, outlaw. And the wildest nigga of all, my nigga Ra Ra. Pop, pop. You heard? So like, yo, listen, bro. You know what I mean? So Sha came back from the yard. He like this. Yo, son, what up, man? How that tape was? I was like, I'm like, yo, this nigga is demented. You heard? He's demented. So he like, what? He like, that shit crazy? I said, nigga, that shit is the greatest album that nigga ever put out in his life. I said, nigga, this shit is the greatest material Pac ever recorded in his life, nigga. There will never be an album that tops this. You heard? And nigga was like, yo, I gotta listen to that shit. He was like, yo, I'm gonna go listen to that shit. I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna poly with you, heard? After that, me and this nigga started poly. All this jail story shit we doing and Brooklyn legacy shit we doing, we was doing all of this shit up north, nigga, to three, four in the morning. Police like, what the fuck is these niggas doing? We ain't, we in each other cube telling war stories to the daybreak, my nigga. You heard? And now look, we doing this shit on YouTube, killing these niggas, you heard? But like, yo, real talk, so boom. I start fucking with the nigga shy. You heard? I ain't no shy from a can of paint. He like, yo, where you so you he like, yo, where you from the Ville, right, son? I'm like, yeah. He like, yo, I'm from the fort, you heard? You heard? He's like, yo, where you came from the annex? I'm like, yeah, he's like, yo, my cuz over there, you heard? The nigga job. I mean, I'm like, yeah, I just left that nigga. I'm like, yo, I just left that nigga. That nigga got me kicked out the dorm. He like, word? I'm like, yeah, man, that nigga playing around with the police. Police thought it was me. Them niggas packed me up, you heard? He like, oh, y'all niggas is bugging. Y'all niggas bugging. So, I mean, me and son just start poly and crazy, my nigga. And like I said, I'm going to tell y'all the story. Three shots. I learned a lot of shit from this dude. And let me tell you, you know how niggas is calling me to go to this storytelling shit? Listen, my nigga, I'm Luke Skywalker. That nigga, Sha, he's Yoda. You heard? And then my other man, who name, who name shall remain nameless for now? That nigga is Steven Spielberg, the nigga who created Star Wars. You heard? So it ain't just me, my nigga. You heard? It ain't just me. I'm assembling a team of the greatest storytellers in the game and my nigga Murder. You heard? My nigga Murder is Han Solo. You heard? The nigga who, the nigga who I did the Brownsville stories on. We coming with part two to that in a matter of weeks, you heard? But it's like, yeah. So I'm building a team of the best storytellers from Brooklyn ever. Not just from Brooklyn either. You heard? Cause I got my niggas coming from Harlem. I got the Harlem edition. The Rikers Island Legends coming, you heard? Ooh, wee! When you hear that Harlem edition of Rikers Island Legends, it's gonna start getting ugly on y'all niggas, man. I'm telling you, you heard? Right now, y'all think I'm laying low, but I'm not. I'm just plotting and scheming. I'm plotting and scheming and building a whole network of shows, you heard? I'm gonna make my own jail TV network. You know what I mean? Jail slash New York City TV network right on YouTube. Smash the whole game. Y'all niggas stay tuned, you heard? L.A. Z-Boy.